Um, that's why we call in football, we call it a touchdown. It actually comes from rugby where you actually had to touch the, the football or the, the, the ball. What is it? What's the ball called in rugby? Is it just the ball? I'm back. Guess what guys, I'm back with another video. It's been a while since I've actually been able to upload to this channel. Thank you guys for the new subs. It's been months since I've uploaded a video, but yet somehow steadily there, there's traffic coming to this channel. People watching my, my former videos, uh, NFL fan diving into the world of rugby, trying to understand the game. Here's the situation. What happened was, my wife and I have been in the process of moving from Texas to New Orleans. I, I've now moved to New Orleans, Louisiana, where I am going to begin classes in the fall here at the seminary. Now, I've been doing the, I had done several videos before and, and I appreciated all of the, the comments that I've gotten and, and I was growing in my knowledge of the game. It's been months since I've reacted to it and so I've got to admit to you, I don't think I had had enough um, time to really remember everything that I had learned throughout that. So I'm, I'm excited to jump back into another video to kind of jog my memory to um, to see what I do remember about the game and uh, also just to get back into it. Now, here's the situation you guys know because you watch these videos on YouTube, you, you're familiar with the fact that doing rugby reactions is kind of difficult because we have to fight copyright claims and copyright strikes. Um, it's, they're very particular about um, about these videos, and so so for that reason, uh, all my rugby reactions that will be uploaded, they're going to be kind of heavily edited. Um, that reason being, I'm trying to avoid the copyright strikes, copyright claims. But there is an option now down in the description box from this video, you will find a link to my Patreon account. If you go on there, you will find these videos uncut and unedited and you'll be able to see the full length reaction to the the game and my comments on the game there there are other perks it's only one dollar a month and you can get these videos uncut unedited um, and and you'll get the entire video there which is for one dollar a month just a buck if you don't want to go over there and do that perfectly fine i will be uploading them still here to this channel uh, there will just be edited uh, for copyright reasons. I'm going to watch England versus South Africa today. I'm gonna try to see how much of rugby I actually do remember. And uh, please comment down below your um, suggestions for future videos and also any help that you can give me with understanding the game. Let's dive into it. England versus South Africa, here we go. This is from the World Cup 2019. Um, prediction for the game? I don't know. I bet England won. won. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Tokyo, meaning the Yokohama International Stadium's pitch is hard and fast and the perfect stage for our ninth World Cup final. Japan has turned it on for a minute one and tonight we have 70,000 in the house to watch England v South Africa. Side to side and our numbers across to the left. Key tackle from Colby. Right. Forget there's a little bit of a dog pile after every um, tackle. Juicing the clock and then locking us up. 3-3. Three, three. Penalty kicks three. The points like field goals are in, um, in football. Pollard. It's good. exactly what they do they work it hard oh it's a domination under the pressure it is a total domination um, oh yeah and you can kick uh, forward at any time pass backward that was a sick play wow so he punts it forward passes it backward Scores the try. Touches the ball to the ground. There we go. Across the park they come. And losing it. Arms there. Pops up for the toy. Here comes Chaseling Colby. Colby bounces towards the fence. Beats one. Still going. Chaseling Colby. Nice. South Africa. The World Cup is there. 
Wow. Yanchis, 10 seconds out now. They're about to create no. history as the only team ever at a World Cup to lose a pool game and go on and lift the biggest prize of them all. Wow. South Africa. So South Africa over England, that would be quite the upset if I'm not, if I'm mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. In game 50, England had no answer to the power, the precision. All right, so a few things trying to remember kind of what I, I had learned from my, my previous videos. So forward passes are illegal. Everything has to go backwards, but you can kick the ball forward to a teammate, kind of like a forward pass or a punt. Um, you have to touch the ground after um, scoring your try, which if I remember, someone left it in my comment section below that um, that's why we call in football, we call it a touchdown. It actually comes from rugby where you actually had to touch the, the football or the, the, the ball. What is it? What's the ball called in rugby? Is it just the ball? Anyway, we had to touch the um, the football down to the ground to actually score the try. Um, so another thing, um, there's a there's kind of a dog pile that happens after every tackle, and I was trying to remember what that's called. Someone leave that down in the comments. I do not remember what that little dog pile situation is after a, a tackle is made. They everyone piles on, and the ball is then passed. Uh, backwards to your teammates who then swing the ball into a uh, play and initiate the play that way. So I'm remembering it jogged my memory a little bit just watching the game. Um, saw a few really notable plays there where I don't know the player's name but he had a straight shot down the sideline of the field. He punted the ball forward. His teammate picked it up and then passes it sideways to him and he scores a try. That was just a, a beautiful looking play. Anyway those are my thoughts on the video. If you have more um, comments for what I need to understand about the game, leave them down in the comment section below. If you want to check out these videos uncut, unedited, for just a dollar a month, go over there and click that link to the Patreon underneath this video. You can go over there and get those and look at all the tiers. There might be some other cool perks that you want. I'm going to be doing more of these, checking out more rugby. It's good to be back, guys. Thanks for clicking on the video. Like I said, like, comment, and subscribe to the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.